in our previous video we have discussed blood grouping and two important hemoglobin disorders sickle cell anemia and thalassemia in our today's video we are going to discuss red blood cells and different parameters related to it hello students i am dr faisal and you are watching biocean classes let's start blood blood if we see it is made up of two components plasma and the formed elements plasma which is the fluid portion of the blood it is 55% and formed elements which are basically the cells they are 45% these formed elements there are of three types red blood cells white blood cells and platelets today we are more focused on red blood cells red blood cells they are also known as erythrocytes okay these red blood cells they are red because they possess a red color pigment called as hemoglobin these red blood cells they are red in color because they possess a red color pigment called as hemoglobin inside them this hemoglobin it's the most important part of rbc's because all the functions of rbc's they are carried by this hemoglobin molecule if we see in nutshell what this hemoglobin do this hemoglobin it helps in oxygen transport carbon dioxide transport maintenance of the ph of the blood and many other functions of the blood okay so blood is red because of the presence of red blood cells and red blood cells are red because of the presence of this molecule hemoglobin RBCs they are the most numerous cells of the blood because their count is 5 to 5.5 million per millimeter cube this is a very huge number RBCs ka jo number hamare blood pe hai wo 5 se 5.5 million cells ek millimeter cube mein hai okay and if we see in case of males and in case of newborns the count is usually high and if we see in case of females the count is usually low in males the count is usually high because of the presence of testosterone testosterone or the androgens they usually have stimulatory effect on the bone marrow and if we see in case of females they have less rbcs because of the estrogens which have relatively inhibitory effect and because of the menstrual loss every month in newborns the rbc counts are usually high because they are relatively in hypoxic state maa ke pet ke andar jab wo hote hain to relatively wahan pe zyada hypoxia hota hai so they need to produce more of the rbcs if we talk about size and shape of the rbcs rbcs they have 7.2 to 7.8 micron meter diameter this is a size of the rbc and if we see the shape of the rbc it is usually biconcave discs if we see on the lateral view the rbc looks like this it's you can say biconcave it's disc and if we see in the center it is relatively depressed if we see from the top it will be depressed in the center and if we see from the side views it just looks like a dumbbell and it's a biconcave shape this biconcave shape of the rbc it's very very important for the normal functioning of an rbc and this biconcave shape it is maintained with the help of proteins known as ankyrin spectrin ankyrin spectrin and many transmembrane proteins these molecules they help the rbc to squeeze through smallest capillaries of the blood the smallest capillary of the blood it is usually 6 micron meter and the size of rbc is 7 micron meter rbc is able to pass through these capillaries because of the folding or because of the squeezing action of these ankyrin and spectrin molecules okay so this is the importance of these spectrin molecules and if these molecules they are defective they are not functioning the rbc membrane it will be very rigid and if it will be rigid it will not be able to pass through the capillaries 
it will be stuck inside the capillaries so this is the normal shape of the rbc which is biconcave discs and its significance is it helps to squeeze the rbc through the thinnest capillaries of the blood which are usually present in our spleen or the reticuloendothelial system rbcs are denucleated cells by denucleated cells i mean initially when rbcs they are formed they have the nucleus but as the rbcs mature their nucleus it is lost jaise jaise rbc mature hote jate hain unka nucleus gayab ho jata hai their nucleus is lost during the maturation phase but there are two exceptions in mammals most of the organisms their rbc they are denucleated except camel and the llama camel and llama they possess nucleated rbcs and they have oval nucleus okay these are two exceptions to the denucleated cells if we see inside the rbc all cell organelles are absent agar hum rbc ke andar dekhen sari ki sari cell organelles absent hoti hai whether this is nucleus whether this is golgi body ribosomes everything is absent inside the rbc and why everything is absent inside the rbc it is to increase space inside rbc बिकॉज आर बी सी इट हैज टू पैक हीमोग्लोबिन अगर हम देखें आर बी सी का जो काम है वो हीमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल कैरी करना है एंड दिस हीमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल इट विल हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो वी थ्रो मैक्सिमम ऑफ द थिंग्स आउट सो दैट वी कैन अकोमोडेट मोर एंड मोर हीमोग्लोबिन ओके ऑल द सेल ऑर्गनलीज आर थ्रो नॉट ऑफ द आर बी सी टू प्रोवाइड मोर स्पेस फॉर द हीमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल Similarly, mitochondria is also absent in RBCs, and when mitochondria is absent, the RBC is not able to perform the Krebs cycle. So, RBC is not able to perform the Krebs cycle. It depends upon anaerobic respiration for its energy. अगर RBC aerobic respiration नहीं कर सकता, तो it derives its energy from anaerobic respiration, and especially with the help of glycolysis. all the enzymes required for glycolysis they are present in the dissolved state in cytoplasm so rbc utilizes all those enzymes and carries out anaerobic respiration in cytoplasm if we see rbc possesses different enzymes and molecules like it possesses a very important molecule that is glutathione this glutathione is a very important antioxidant it's very important antioxidant and it protects the rbc from the oxidative stress all the oxygen free radicals which are generated within the rbc they can damage the membrane but glutathione usually protects the membrane of the rbcs similarly we have enzyme carbonic anhydrase this carbonic anhydrase it helps in the it helps in the transport of oxygen as well as the carbon dioxide because it helps in the formation of carbonic acid we will discuss in the chapter of respiration how it works along with these molecules hemoglobin it's also present in the cytoplasm of rbcs the membrane of the rbc it is known as dunans membrane it's a specific name given to the membrane of rbcs because it is highly permeable to bicarbonate and chloride ions and it is relatively impermeable or less permeable to sodium and potassium ions if you remember we have something called as chloride shift and the hamsberger shift all these shifts they are possible because of the presence of this dunans membrane okay rbc membrane it's highly permeable to bicarbonate and the chloride ions if we see the rbc cell it takes up glucose from the uh, blood by active transport okay rbc takes glucose from blood by active transport but this transport it is independent of insulin most of the cells of the body they depend on insulin for glucose uptake but rbcs it is independent of insulin for the uptake of glucose rbc ko glucose lene ke liye insulin ki zarurat nahi padti hai if we see the membrane of the rbc the membrane of the rbc it possesses different antigens and one very important antigen that we have already discussed is the blood grouping antigens you will be knowing that there are something called as rh antigens abo antigens all these antigens are coated over the membrane of the rbc RBC के मेम्ब्रेन के ऊपर सारे एंटीजेंस प्रेजेंट है लाइक ए बी ओ आर एच वो सारे एंटीजेंस आर बी सी के मेम्ब्रेन के ऊपर है एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द नॉर्मल लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ एन आर बी सी इट्स वन ट्वेंटी डेज वेन आर बी सी इज फॉर्म्ड जब आर बी सी बनता है तो एक सौ बीस दिन के बाद इट इज डिग्रीडेटेड ए नॉर्मल आर बी सी वाई 
because the rbc it does not possess nucleus it does not possess ribosome it cannot repair itself due to repeated you can say moving through the thin or narrow capillaries its membrane gets damaged and a time comes when the membrane becomes very fragile and when the membrane becomes very fragile the rbcs they are destroyed and most commonly these rbcs they are destroyed in spleen because smallest capillaries are present in the spleen body ki sabse choti capillary spleen mein present hoti hai isliye rbc spleen se pass nahi ho sakta agar iska membrane defective hai because the rbcs they are destroyed within the spleen spleen is called as graveyard of rbcs because all the all the dead rbcs all the we can say old rbcs they are destroyed within the spleen because spleen possesses the you can say narrowest capillaries of the blood okay then there is something called as erythropoiesis erythropoiesis is the process of formation of rbcs is the process of formation of rbcs how this process works we will be discussing in the subsequent lectures role formation it's a piling up of rbcs piling of rbcs just like the coins if one rbc second third fourth fifth if they just pile up and make a pillar this is known as role formation and this role formation happens uh, because whenever there is decreased charge over the membrane of the rbcs the rbcs stick together and this sticking and piling of rbcs this is known as role formation but the rbcs they don't destroy they just form a pillar this is known as role formation and at last what are the functions of rbcs RBCs, if we see, they possess hemoglobin, so they are involved in the oxygen transport. They are involved in the carbon dioxide transport. Okay. They are also involved in the pH maintenance. Okay. So these are some of the functions of your RBCs. If we summarize, RBCs are red in color because of the hemoglobin molecule. The major function of the RBCs is transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide so all the tissues of the blood they get oxygen because of the rbcs if rbcs are less hemoglobin will be less body will get less oxygen these are the most numerous cells of the blood and they are destroyed within the spleen and spleen is called as the graveyard of rbcs this is all about basic rbcs in subsequent lectures we will be discussing about hemoglobin and the disorders of the rbcs if you have any query you can write in the comment section below agar video pasand aaya you can share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you